YouTubers, Pastor Bob, I hope you all are having a blessed week. You know, when I first started YouTube, I had a target audience. And when I read the parable of the ten virgins, and I realized that half the professing body of believers, half the people in the entire world that profess to be Christians, half of them, exactly 50%, are deceived. They are not truly born again. They are professing believers only. And that's who my message and my channel is going after, are those people. You know, one time I was in a church, and uh, I was the associate pastor of that church, and uh, the senior pastor, he was, he was very wishy-washy, and uh, he didn't want to preach about sin. He wanted everybody to feel good. That's why I didn't stay there long. And one day he told me, I got up and I preached an awesome message. I mean, the people loved it. He walked up to me after that sermon and he said, listen, you're preaching too hard. I don't want anybody to question their salvation. That's what he said. I don't want anybody questioning their salvation. People, I just, I couldn't believe it. I said, yeah, well, my time's limited here. I can tell you that. So this is what Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21. And every time I read this, I have to stop and make a video. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father. Every time I read that verse, I get a sick feeling of all the people that are lost. I think they're not. Can you imagine thinking you're saved? thinking you're saved your whole life and the day you die the Lord says depart from me I never knew you I honestly believe these people these people that are self-deceived they're not looking forward to heaven people heaven is on my mind every waking hour I can't wait for the Lord's return I'm ready to go I am ready to go there's not a single thing in this life keeping me here. I am ready to move on into eternity. I don't like this world. But one thing for sure, all these self-deceived people, they know who Jesus is. They know he died on the cross. They even believe the Bible's true. But there's two things that come to my mind, what these people failed to do. And that's what I want us to listen to right now. They failed to draw near to God. That was one of their failures. They failed to draw near to God. This is what James tells us in 4, 7, and 8. He says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Two sentences, as simple as it can be. There's no yeah buts in there. It's just simple. It's exactly what it says. These people never submitted themselves to God. Therefore, Satan never fled. Right? If it says, submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Well, if they never submitted themselves to God, Satan never fled from them. Satan had them exactly where he wanted them. Self-deceived. They spent their whole lives as close to God as they wanted to be. Number two, it's taken from 1 John 5, 5. Who is he that overcomes the world, but he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Self-deceived people have it all in their head and none of it in their heart. All head knowledge, no heart knowledge. They have no relationship with the Son whatsoever. None. It's all in their head. They never say with a pure heart, Lord Jesus, I want your will in my life. Father, your will, not mine, because I know that your will is better, and I have a track record. I can look back and see that all I do is mess things up. Lord, I want your will in my life, not mine. They fail to give it all to God. 
We know the scripture in Matthew 25, it says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise, five were foolish. Five foolish ones, they all fell asleep. They didn't prepare. They did not prepare. They forgot to take oil in their lamps. They just flat didn't prepare. They didn't care. It'll all work out in the end. And then what happened? Lamps ran out of oil. Said afterward came the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. That's half the body of Christ. So my question to you, have you submitted yourselves to God? Are you drawing closer to God every day? Do you desire to draw closer to God? Because if you do, you are born again. If you can honestly say in your heart, Heavenly Father, I want your will in my life and not my own. You are born again. If you can honestly say, I can't wait to get to heaven. I am sick of this world. It's not my home. I don't like it here. If you can say that, you're truly born again. Anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.